Star Wars is dead. Or should I say Disney Star Wars is dead. This just in, Damon, Damon Lindoff and Justin Britt Gibson exit their secret Star Wars project. Shortly after the high-profile pair turned in their draft of the project, Lucasfilm opted not to go forward. As Disney tries to find their bearings after Bob Iger, after bringing Bob Iger back on board, he never left. The recently reported top secret Star Wars project that is to be directed by Charmaine, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name because I'm going to butcher the heck out of it, known for Miss Marvel, has just lost writers Damon Lindoff and Justin Britt Gibson. While Kathleen Kennedy navigates through rough developments of projects like the now jettisoned Rogue Squadron, there have been no new Star Wars features announced with the brand focused on TV projects, which include the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. And I know nothing about those two projects. Kennedy mentioned before that she wanted to tread carefully before announcing film projects due to some turbulent productions. And it looks like many of the in-development movies aren't panning out. Indeed, Above the Line reports that the screenwriters... Lindoff and Brett Gibson turned in a draft of their script in mid-February, and it wasn't long before they ended up leaving the film. Lucasfilm reportedly has a new writer now taking up the vacated position, although it's not yet known who it is. The plot of the film is being kept under wraps. However, there was to be a formal reveal of the project at Star Wars Celebration next month, and the title and plot of the movie would be unveiled. The production was scheduled to begin in February of 24, and it was scheduled for release sometime in December of 25. Hmm. You know, can George Lucas buy back the Star Wars franchise licensing rights and take it over again, please? Disney is a mess. Marvel's a mess. Star Wars is a mess. It's all a mess. In a recent interview at South by Southwest, Lindoff would be very cryptic about his strained involvement with the brand. I will just say that for reasons that I can't get into on this Sunday morning, on this day, the degree of difficulty is extremely, extremely, extremely high. Well, that says a lot. While the Star Wars shows on Disney Plus continue to thrive, I wouldn't say they thrive. Mandalorian viewership is down for Season 3. Boba Fett was meh at best. Actually, that could have been Mandalorian Season 3. Uh, Andor, which I hadn't watched, haven't had the time to watch, I've heard is decent, is actually pretty good in some respects. And Obi-Wan was just a freaking mess. The movies have suffered a great deal of complications after their announcements for future projects, which still may include Ryan Johnson's trilogy and a Taika Waititi standalone film. So I think it's safe to say, yeah, Star Wars is dead. So that's all I have for right now. Please like this video if you like the content that I'm putting out, which most of it lately has been pop culture. There's been a little bit of news and political stuff in there too, and a little bit of sports. But I cover just about everything. Um, whatever floats my boat on any given day, whatever I find interesting, I'm going to make a video about it. So, please like the video, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell to get notifications when I upload content on a daily basis, Monday through Friday. And we will see you guys in the next video.